So the polishes I'm going to be using are this Zoya in the color blue for the base. I'll be using these three julep polishes for the characters. The gray one is Meryl, the purple one is Sylvia, and then the bottom one is Linda. Another color I'll be using for a character is this Shaney polish in the number eight. I'm going to be needing my black Wet n Wild Dried Out Stamping Polish. I'm going to be using white and black acrylic paints. And of course, my out the door fast drying top coat. So the two plates that I used for this were these Hee Hee plates that I got from AliExpress. Um, I'm using, they're Studio Ghibli based, so I'm using all the Studio Ghibli characters on them. I'm going to be using this Totoro right here. I'm going to be using No Face right there. I'm going to be using these two characters right there. And then I'm going to be using the little coal specks right there. I'm also going to be using just a little bit of the flowers for some minor detailing. And yeah, so let's get this manicure started. So the first thing I did was apply two coats of this Zoya blue color on the nails. And then I added a nice thick layer of liquid latex because we're going to be doing some splatter nail art stuff. So I'm going to be using a small little brush and some acrylic paint with water in it. So I am switching up the angle of the camera just so that it's a little bit easier to show you guys kind of what I'm doing. And you're just going to take a drop of acrylic paint and a drop of water just like that and mix it up. Get it on your brush and then splatter. Just like that. I'm going to add a little bit more. So there's that color. I'm going to move on to a white and do the same thing. One drop of paint, one drop of water. Once you mix it up, you'll get like this war on your acrylic paint looking stuff. And then do the same thing, just splatter. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the liquid latex and do some cleanup on the fingers. So to make my life a lot easier, I went ahead and made little nail stickers out of each and every stamp. I did color them in according to what their character kind of looks like. And then, so you fill them, you let them dry, you put a clear coat on it, and then you let them dry for another like 10 minutes. And then they should be easy to peel up. I'll show you what they look like as soon as they're peeled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the middle finger. I'm gonna be doing no face on the middle finger. And you just kind of squeeze the stamper head and peel up the sticker. And the sticker will look something like that. And I'm just gonna add him about right there. Push down gently. And then kind of just press around the sides. Just like that. And at the end, I will cut off all the excess to everybody. So for the next finger is going to be the ring finger. I'm going to be doing the little chipmunk looking character. Same way. Just going to place him there. And he will stick down as soon as I put a clear coat over the top of him. So he is going to be getting an extra little acorn added to him. So I'm going to go ahead and add the acorn. And I'll be using my clear jelly stamper to kind of know where to place it. Sorry, this is really, really not easy to see. But there he is. There he is with his little acorn. He's holding it. So I'm going to go ahead and add the clear coat to this nail. So that it sticks down. Just a nice generous coat right over the top of it. And everything else just kind of starts to float away. You can press down the sides to help them adhere. 
So we'll move on to no face. Another way of getting rid of the excess is by taking a little bit of acetone and just touching it. And it starts to just shrivel up. It helps it stick to the nail. And then you still have to add your top coat on top to seal it in. What is that? For the next finger, I'm gonna be stamping on the charcoal dust characters. that nail looks like. Um, I'm going to have to do some off-camera detailing on this nail. I'm going to be filling in the eyes with a dotting tool with the color white and then within that make them little pupils with the black. So for the pinky I'm going to be using adding the little bird. Just like that. I'm going to add one pupil to him, since he did lose one in the transfer. And I will be adding some little flowers around the side of him. And then I will be right back. Alright guys, so here's the finished result. They were a little bit more complicated than I thought. This is my first time actually using full nails, like your own made nail stickers on nails. But it was a good experience. And um, we did add Totoro to the thumb, as you can kind of see there. I know it's really blurry. My camera won't focus any closer, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Studio Ghibli inspired nail design and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for future videos. I put out new tutorials every Friday. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.